Hey everyone, and welcome to Understandable English. Today, I have four street interviews for you. In these interviews, Americans are going to tell you about how they spent their summer vacations or holidays. These are the questions I'm going to ask them. Where did you go this summer on vacation? What is your dream summer vacation? Do you prefer a mountain or a beach vacation? Do you have any cherished memories from a vacation you've taken? Remember, vacation is like a holiday. In the United States, we say vacation. In the UK, they say holiday. Also, cherished memories are like good and happy memories. Let's listen to the first interview. Then I'll explain some of the difficult words and phrases. Where did you go this summer on vacation? Um, this summer on vacation, I went north to my cabin a bunch. We have a cabin in Lakewood, Wisconsin. Um, it's on Wheeler Lakes. So we like to go up there during the summer, but that was my main summer vacation spot. What, about, what is your dream summer vacation if you go anywhere? Dream summer vacation would probably be um, somewhere in the country like Colorado, um, somewhere in the mountains to go hiking or something cool like that. So you prefer a mountain or a beach vacation? Mountain in summer, but beach in winter. Okay, very good. Uh, do you have any cherished memories from a family vacation or a different vacation you've taken when you were younger or small? Um, probably when I would go visit um, family down in Florida. Um, when I was younger, we used to go down there a lot and um, just visit and we go fishing and whatnot. So, he talked about his cabin, which is like a house in the nature, far from the city. Sometimes people call these cottages, or country houses, or countryside houses, but he used the word cabin. All of these are the same. He also says that he goes up there. Americans love to use up and down to talk about directions. Up is north, and down is south. So when he says he likes to go up there, or he goes up there, he's saying he's going north to this lake. A vacation spot is just a popular place where people go on vacation or holiday. A dream summer vacation is a summer vacation of your dreams, the place you would love to go. Colorado is a state, more or less in the center of the United States. There are lots of mountains and good nature in Colorado. To go hiking is like to go walking in nature. Down in Florida, again, Americans love to use up and down for directions. So down in Florida means down south, or south in Florida, another state in the United States. Now. Go back and listen again, and see how much more you understand. In the second interview, I asked these questions. Where did you go this summer on vacation? What is your dream summer vacation? And are there any specific landmarks you'd like to see? Do you prefer a mountain or a beach vacation? Do you have any cherished memories from a vacation you've taken? Remember, a landmark is a place or a thing that is special. This is normally where tourists go. This man has a strong southern accent, so it might be a little bit difficult, so good luck. First, let's listen. Then, I'll explain some of the more difficult words and phrases. So, uh, where did you go on vacation this summer? Uh, I went to St. Pete Beach in Florida. Mm -hmm. Very good. What, uh, what brought you to this place? Is this somewhere you often go? Um, we, we go there often, just mm -hmm. like the area. Wonderful. Was this with your family? It was, yes. Okay. And what is your dream summer vacation? If you could go anywhere with anyone, where would you go? My dream su summer vacation would probably be to travel the entire United States. Wonderful. All 50 states? All, I, I, I do every one of them. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Are there any specific landmarks or places that you've always wanted to go? I haven't been to Yellowstone yet. Yellowstone. I've not made Yellowstone, wonderful. so definitely. Excellent. Um, if you had to choose between the mountains and kind of an adventure vacation or a relaxing vacation on the beach, what would you choose and why? I would choose the mountains. My family would probably choose the beach, uh, so I'll defer to them. Okay, wonderful. And do you have any cherished memories from a family vacation when you were young or with your family now that you're a bit older? I remember going to Washington, D.C. with my family, my mom and my dad and my sister, and we ended up on Virginia Beach um, in the Norfolk area. And I don't know why, but that one seems to stand out. We didn't get to take a lot of vacations. We didn't have any money, but, uh, but that one I do remember. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. He mentioned the city St. Petersburg in Florida, but he said St. Pete. Some people call this city St. Pete. Of the landmarks he mentioned, he talked about Yellowstone. This is a national park with volcanoes and geysers. He said he would defer to them or to his family, which means he will let them choose. 
he wanted to go to the mountains and his family to the beach. So he defers to them and lets them choose. Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States, so he mentioned going there, as well as Virginia Beach and the Norfolk area. This is an area on the east coast of the United States. He mentioned a vacation that stands out. This means it's the most different or the most interesting compared to the other vacations. It stands out. It's more interesting. Now go back and listen again and see how much more you understand. Well, this is the end of part one. Part two will be out next week with two more interviews for you. Have a wonderful day. Toodles.